Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to make a homemade strawberry ice cream. This recipe is super easy. You are gonna need some organic sugar, some vanilla extract, fresh squeezed lemon juice, of course strawberries, some whole milk, and some heavy cream. And of course an ice cream scoop and containers to corral all of your homemade ice cream. I am using my ice cream maker, which is from Cuisinart, and you don't have to use an ice cream machine. There are tons of recipes out there, and you can modify this recipe if you choose. So basically what I'm doing is I am taking my diced strawberries, and I'm mixing all of my organic raw cane sugar and lemon juice and letting that marinate for a few hours. Once it's marinated, I'm going to drain all of the juices out. We're going to reserve this because we're going to use this in a little bit for our homemade ice cream. All of the strawberries that are very thick and rich right now, I'm going to add into a separate bowl and give it a good mash because we are going to add this to our ice cream machine in a bit. So in a bowl, you're gonna add your heavy cream, your milk, your vanilla extract, all of your other ingredients that are left over. And full details for this recipe is over on my blog, which is www.rakescreekfarmhouse.net. You're gonna blend this until everything is combined. And once it's completely blended, you're going to add your strawberry juice and you are going to add your strawberries. Now, the bowl that I'm mixing this in, I like to put it in the refrigerator for a few hours and of course make sure your ice cream machine is been in the freezer for, I guess, overnight. It just depends on your machine, so check in your owner's manual. So this is going to churn in my ice cream machine for about 20, 25 minutes. And the last few minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add my strawberries into the machine and let that fold into the ice cream machine. Once everything is combined, it's going to be almost soupy light consistent. So it's not going to be that thick frozen ice cream. So you are going to put this in a... Uh, a stainless steel bowl or an ice cream bowl. I'm also filling some popsicle molds to make some popsicles. Um, the possibilities are pretty much endless. And once everything is ready, you can go ahead and scoop it into an ice cream cone or into a bowl and serve it before the end of the summer. Or you can have this for a perfect fall treat because the fall around here in Michigan, I'm anticipating is going to be quite warm and we still like our ice cream in sec September and October. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos from me and like, comment, subscribe, and share. So long.